Hello, I'm Scott Knorr. And I'm Heather Coco. This video is going to describe career paths in pharmacy leadership and management. As a clinician, you have a profound impact on a single patient. As a leader, you can impact an entire patient population and have a profound impact on your profession. As you become successful in your career, you'll inevitably be asked to take on more and more responsibilities. It's very important to have the skills necessary to move on to more advanced leadership roles. There are a lot of historical jobs in pharmacy management. When you think of my position as director of pharmacy, uh, there are also assistant director of pharmacy positions, operations managers, uh, online supervisors, and clinical coordinators uh, as just a few. In my role as a pharmacy manager, I spend a lot of my day managing people and resources. Um, I certainly participate a lot in the budget process every year. I also manage projects that go in our department and I implement new technologies as they become relevant to our pharmacy practice. In this video, you'll hear from pharmacists in various practice settings that will talk about their experiences in pharmacy leadership and management and learn paths to achieve your own career goals in pharmacy administration. The one thing that management allows um, pharmacists to do is to um, affect change and to continue to progress this profession forward. And there are so many contributions we can take, make for patients, especially as we look towards the aging population, um, especially as we look to all the well-published information with respect to adverse drug events. Um, as a practitioner, one can make an enormous difference, but as a manager or leader, one can infect entire populations of patients. Students and residents should consider pursuing a career in management because it allows you to take the next step. And by that I mean you get to incorporate your clinical skills with the business aspects of pharmacy so that you can motivate or you can influence systems and that's really important. Students and residents should um, consider management as a, a path in their career just because it, it gives them such a, a opportunity to influence and shape their daily life, their work life, and um, also realize that the changes that they're, they're making at their institution will potentially have a much wider spread impact than if they were working kind of in a silo. I like being in administration because it's a very rewarding uh, profession to be in. You get to make a difference in uh, almost di multiple different aspects of how patient care is provided on a daily basis and make a difference in the organization. And, I, I like to be in a leadership role. It's fun to uh, be able to, to set a direction for the department and get, get other pharmacists to see that vision, buy into it, and follow it. Everything is different every day. I mean, my job is never the same day to day, week to week. Sometimes even the meeting, one meeting I go to may change in the middle. Being a pharmacy leader means the ability to affect change, and it really is the best of times for pharmacy practice right now. The possibilities are, are endless in terms of patient care, uh, opportunities for pharmacists in terms of working with interdisciplinary teams. And being in a leadership role really gives us the opportunity to affect change and to continue to move the profession forward. I was frustrated in that I didn't have that passion for the clinical program that most people have and that uh, preceptors and faculty had told me I was going to experience. And so uh, as I went through that, that crisis of identity, I, I talked to various people who were in uh, leadership and mentorship roles. And so from that point on, they really encouraged me into a management role. Uh, and it really opened my eyes because it was not something that had been focused on previously in my academic career. And so a whole world of pharmacy opened up to me at that point. I thought when I was finishing pharmacy school, well, the last year of pharmacy school, that I was going to be a clinical pharmacist. I had some great hospital clinical rotations, and, and then I met some people who ended up being mentors for me uh, that were involved with hospital pharmacy administration, and uh, through, through watching them work, I felt and learned that I could make a bigger difference uh, by keeping the vision for patient care and the pharmacist role in taking care of patients, but uh, moving into administration, I could influence I would be able to move into administration and influence the practice of pharmacy on a much greater level uh, for population of patients and, and for the profession. I didn't graduate from pharmacy school thinking that I was going to be a manager. Um, I've had somewhat of a non-traditional career. I worked as a community pharmacist for five years and kept finding myself volunteering for different projects and finding myself with, with leadership roles within the organization um, that I was working for. And so um, after some time I realized that this probably was a calling and that um, I wanted to pursue management as a career. So I actually became a resident after I'd been out of school five years. 
and so um, finished the program and have been uh, working as a manager since then. The best thing about mentorship is there's a combination of life experiences and professional experiences and when you can bring those things together um, there, there's nothing else um, that can be duplicated uh, in terms of the educational experiences that you can have through school or um, experiential rotations and such so uh, having a mentor is very important to as we try to find that balance between our uh, professional and, and, um, and personal uh, lives. There's just a great opportunity for mentorship on both ends, being a mentor and being a mentee. I think another piece that's important is that the mentor knows you well because anyone can can give advice about a career but when they know you well they can look at you and, and help you decide what would, what would be the best fit for you and what you'd do well, what you would be good at and they can help you to have success in the long run. Mentors are very important. In fact, we need more mentors and we need mentors to be very passionate about their field. I have been fortunate enough to have encountered a mentor who is very passionate about their field. And a lesson learned from someone else who's told me uh, what a mentor should be theoretically is someone who's always coming after you so that you don't fall too far behind, but who's always in front of you so that you're always trying to catch up. From my experience, the best part of being a, a manager and an administrator is watching those staff members that you have who need help or who need development actually coming to fruition and developing. I think the best part about being an administrator is working with staff and working with other disciplines and, and really being um, a part of, of the growth of the, the individual staff, the people that I have had the opportunity to mentor. Um, watching my staff grow and develop has been incredibly rewarding and it's really about relationships. At the end of the day, what makes one's career satisfying is the relationships one develops with people and being in a management position gives one an opportunity to interact with such a wide variety of disciplines and that the, the rewards that come with that are, are numerous. the clinical development that I've been able to give back to the institutions and help to provide good medication use processes and good uh, safe and effective use of medications at the institutions that maybe weren't there previously. Um, through that there's been various cost savings initiatives we were able to implement as well as and probably and most importantly to improve patient care um, for all the folks that came to that institution. The patient care is something I'd like to focus on because I don't think that having a patient focused care uh, pharmacy, pharmaceutical service is an inherent service. Uh, I think you need good leadership to um, get buy-in and to develop and implement strategic plans that would include uh, pharmaceutical uh, patient focused care. So I think that's the major contribution to our institution um, and the ultimate result is improvement in the quality of life of our patients. I would do it all again. I love my job. Uh, it's nice to get up every day and go to work and love your job. I'm not going to say that there's no stress being in a management position um, because there is. You have a lot of responsibility. So with that obviously comes some stress. Granted some of it can be self-induced and we all find different ways to deal with that. But I would do it all again and I really I love what I do. I love the people I work with. Um, I think even though I don't have that one-on-one -on -one patient interaction uh, in my current position, I feel like that the decisions that I make and the things that I'm able to accomplish because of my staff, um, through them uh, and their innovative ideas and their innovative programs, we move things forward and we, we directly impact patient care from that level. So it's very rewarding. If I had to do it all over again, I would absolutely continue the, the track of, of management. I um, have found it to be incredibly rewarding and the, the profession has been uh, very rewarding to me and my management experience is within the profession and the relationships that I've made professionally that will now be personal relationships for the rest of my life uh, make me a very lucky person.